Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll provide you with an introduction to the stresses in thin walled pressure vessels. But what exactly are they and where are they used? Well, a vessel is considered thin walled when the wall thickness T is less than 1 20th of the diameter. You'll find these vessels in various applications like pipelines, boilers, and soda cans. When the wall thickness exceeds this ratio, it is classified as thick walled and is analysed differently but we don't need to worry about this for now. We'll begin by considering a cylinder of radius R, wall thickness T and length L. When the pressure inside the cylinder is greater than the external pressure by P, the cylinder may experience failure along its length or circumference as shown in these images. Here we have two types of stress at play. The stress in the longitudinal direction is denoted as sigma L and the stress in the circumferential direction is denoted as sigma C. The longitudinal stress is also known as the axial stress, while the circumferential stress is also known as the tangential or hoop stress. Consider the force of the liquid or gas trying to split the cylinder in the longitudinal direction. The force trying to split the cylinder F equals pressure times area, or P times pi r squared. As long as the material can withstand the force, it's equal to the stress within the cylinder wall, calculated by longitudinal stress times the area of the ring. Since we're dealing with thin worn cylinders, we don't calculate area using the standard formula of outer area minus inner area, but by pi times 2r times t. This can be written as f equals sigma l times 2 pi rt. By combining our two equations, we have p times pi r squared equals sigma l times 2 pi rt. We can transpose this to find the longitudinal stress, which becomes sigma L equals PR over 2T. Now, consider the force of the liquid or gas trying to split the cylinder in the circumferential direction. Imagine we're slicing the cylinder in half along its diameter. The force trying to split the cylinder, F, equals pressure times area, or P times 2R times L. As with the longitudinal stress, as long as the material can withstand the force, it is also equal to the stress in the wall. This stress is calculated by circumferential stress times the area of the material. This is found to be F equals sigma C times 2LT. By combining our two equations, we have 2 PRL equals sigma C times 2LT. We can transpose this to find the circumferential stress, which becomes sigma C equals PR over T. It follows that from our two equations, we find that circumferential stress is twice the magnitude of the longitudinal stress, and therefore a thin walled cylinder is twice as likely to fail due to circumferential stress than due to longitudinal stress. Finally, we will talk about thin walled pressure vessels. Take a boiler for example. The tank must have two half sphere domes at the ends. How do we calculate the stress in these? To make it easier, we can remove the cylinder and analyse this component as a sphere. If we make a cut along its diameter, effectively cutting the sphere in half, we see that it is a similar setup for calculating the longitudinal stress. Again, the force is equal to P times pi r squared, which again is equal to the stress within the wall, calculated by stress times area of the ring. So the value for stress is also calculated by sigma equals PR over 2T. And that concludes our introduction to stresses and thin wall pressure vessels. Thank you for watching. Please check the channel for similar engineering related videos.